back to another abandoned adventure. Um, I don't know if you can tell what that is behind me. That's an old control tower for a naval air base. And that's where we are today. And when I say we, I mean you and me. This is a place that's not too far from myself. And that's a good thing with gas prices these days. I didn't travel far. I've been here before. I don't know if you have, so I wanted to bring you along. It was operational from 1942 and closed or decommissioned. Don't know what the correct terminology is. I think it's decommissioned in 1997. So this place has been shut down since then. They've since made a lot of condos out in the area, but there's still remnants of the past to be seen. We just walked down the runway and now we're here exploring a couple of these towers and we're gonna see what's around the perimeter. And uh, I wanna bring you along, so let's go check it out. The base was commissioned as the United States Naval Air Station, South Weymouth, on March 1, 1942. During World War II, the base's primary mission was to provide support for anti-submarine blimp operations, basically provide surveillance. There were two gigantic blimp hangars. One was made out of steel, and the other was made out of wood to conserve rationed metals. Throughout the war with Germany, the base served as the home base of Airship Patrol Squadron ZP-11, which operated up to 12 K-class blimps. Um, they used to do convoy and escort missions around Massachusetts Bay and the Gulf of Maine. Historians and, fami and, f and former Navy personnel, rather, allege that a ZP-11 blimp, the K-14, which crashed with loss of life off the coast of Bar Harbor, Maine in 1944, was actually shot down by a German submarine. The base has been redeveloped, there's been condos and new development, but there's still so many remnants of the past to be seen here, and I'm going to take you along. I'll see you on the inside. Some new apartments and stores over in that area. And here's the old airstrip right here. So guys, right now I'm walking down the runway. Look at that. And there's actually a plane flying overhead. Somebody's flying their remote control plane or something like that. There they are on the field. And yeah, this is the old runway. And we're headed over towards the towers. So this is the old airfield here at this base. There's a lot of places for planes to be able to turn around. And out there is the runway. And over here is the road to the tower. So we're gonna go down to the tower right down here. Let's take a little step back in time and go see these towers. So there's some first views of the first control tower, command tower. It's been sitting here for a long time. Like I said, this base was active from 1942 to 1997. It was originally a blimp base during World War II. And then after that, it became a regular military base. There's another tower off in the distance, if you can see that. All the information will be linked down below. I've been here before, and uh, but have you? <laughs> so I wanted to bring you along to come check it out. It's a nice little piece of history. Look at this. Check that out. And I brought the drone too because I want to get some aerial shots and see what the layout of, of this place is. And hopefully that's something you'll want to see. I think it'll be interesting. But uh, yeah, look at this thing. All right, let's see if we can get into the control tower. See what's left of this. Big surprise, the door is wide open. But that is pretty impressive. Imagine being able to see the planes coming in from that vantage point. We'll get some views once we get in here. Oh, listen to that echo. Rusty relics, the first few stairs 
are missing, but I don't think that's really gonna deter us from getting up here. All right, so very careful, like. All right, let me grab one of this. <laughs> oh my God. Oh shit. All right. Pardon my language. <laughs> Just didn't know if I could hoist myself up. All right, so going up the stairs, pretty much what you see is what you get. Little door on the ground there. Not sure what would be in this room, but we're gonna check it out. Let's see what's in here. Oh. All right, probably the inner workings of keeping this place running. Let's see, control panel, maybe electric. I really don't know. <laughs> so, I don't know if you know what that machine is. Feel free to chime tr in. All right, what is this? Ventilation. Okay, so it's a typhoon. There's that. And we'll go upstairs. Another view, as you can see, there's some parking spaces right there. So obviously you could drive right up here, probably get all the officers right there. Continue going up and same scenario, door on the floor. And what is in here? Ooh. All right, so all your electrical would be here, all the star, electrical stuff. All right, so all your electrical panels would be in here. Obviously, they're long since gone. Basically, just a little bit of remnants of what's left. There's some stripped out wiring. So there's that. Wow. Let me see if there's a date on here. I don't doubt it. All right, so let's continue upstairs and see what the command center looks like. All right, so I'm still going up. And this place actually is a little bit bigger than it appears on the outside. What is this little room? Okay, so that goes up to the tower up there, the lookout. So we're just gonna say, we're gonna see what's on this floor. All right, the bathrooms are over here. Get your sink, and your bathroom's over there. What is in here? More electrical panels. Basically, it's just a room full of graffiti at this point. But it really is cool that it's still here. Alright, so let's go up these stairs. Whoa, look how steep these stairs are. Look at this. Alright, hold on. Alright. Whoa, pardon that wind if you're hearing any right now. But yeah, and this is just the uh, tower. Right up here, the control tower. A little bit of something left. I'll show you that. But this is just a 360 of this tower right here. There's a little ladder right there that goes up a little further. Um, I doubt I'm gonna go up there. But I did bring the drone, so I'll send the drone up there. But this is the base. Obviously there would have been something here, the floor some chairs and this is what's left of the controls up at this command tower. Is there no name or anything on it? No. Wow. Just a bunch of wires at this point. A little bit of glass left. This obviously would have all been enclosed with glass. 
And as you can see over here, there's another tower. It looks, actually looks a lot taller over there. So all the details will be down in the description below if you'd like to check out more information on this old naval base. Let's get on the steep staircase and go check out what is left at this base and that other tower. All right, so that was the first control tower. There's no stairs right here. <laughs> remnants of something over there, not quite sure. Old foundation suggests there was another structure right here. Uh, maybe it was for trucks. Your guess is as good as mine. This is the second tower that is left here. Sorry, I'm shooting directly into the sun. Hold on a second. <laughs> All right, this may be a little better to see. But anyways, the second tower right here. Look at that. This looks a little bit higher than the other one. I'm not sure why they have two towers that are so close together. Um, I don't know, I figured one would be sufficient, but I'm not sure how the operations were or how the operations ran. But anyways, we're gonna go check it out and see what's left behind in this tower right here. They've redeveloped a lot of this area into condos, but not all of it. There used to be a movie set that was here, not too far. They've since dismantled it. I did get a chance to see it, but that's, uh, They've since dismantled it. It was the movie set for the Boston Marathon bombings. All right. Interesting. So there's the tower right there. The command tower, really cool. Fuel tank out front. It's been a long time since I've been here, so I'm not sure if this is, oh man, this is not entry right here. So I guess it's through a window. All right, it looks like entry is right there up that plywood. Who says Urbex wasn't good for you? You get your cardio. You always got to be on the alert. All righty. <laughs> okay. Sometimes you got to just do some, a little bit of fun things to get into places. So we had just came into the second tower. There's a staircase right there, which we're going to go up in a minute. Obviously, we're not gonna take the elevator. Look at that, they had an elevator in here. Wow. Filled with asbestos, but there's the elevator. And next to the elevator, I don't know if any of these doors are marked to show what they are. There's another, oh, okay, so here's all your fuses right there. What's down here? All right, not much of anything. What? Can I, all right, I'm going to try and get in there from the other side. <laughs> Looks like there is still something to see, so 
Well, let's go see it. Look at over there. Maybe it's over here. We cut through over here. Bathroom right there. This is what I'm passing right there, so it's nothing too interesting to see. You know what? No, we're gonna have to go crawl in that hole. There isn't another way to get in there. So that's that door I was probably trying to get in, and that's locked. Okay. So we wouldn't have got in here because the door is locked and there's no access besides the convenient hole in the wall. So in this control tower is all these crazy electrical panels. that again I don't know if there's any kind of date we can see here apparently not all right so there's that all right so there's nowhere else to go but up so let's see what's on the first landing of this old control tower actually there's nothing on the first landing it just keeps on going Elevator shaft. The elevator would have continued its journey up right there. Not too much to see on this landing. Like I said, it's obviously gutted. Let's continue on. All right, so this one just continually goes up. There really isn't uh, anything on these floors. I kind of wish the elevator was in use. Whew, getting dizzy. up here just another little room another little empty gutted little room and we're almost to the top oh my god i'm so out of breath look at this okay we're finally approaching the very top Whew. wow oh, look at this guy i just wanted to give you my view as i'm seeing it coming up the stairs so this is second tower Whew. little balcony that goes outside probably walk along the outside of that I don't know how safe that is but we'll find out see so there's not much here This comes down. <sighs> no. I don't know. Can I get out there? No, I'm too short for this. I'm too short for this adventure. All right. But obviously, there's nothing much left. You know, there would have been these little stations right here and some controls, switches, buttons that ran and navigated the planes as they entered and left. All right, that's where I came in. All right, this is actually terrifying me right here. Obviously that's just the access for it's probably fire access. Oh. So we're now on the outside of the tower. I'm just gonna walk around the outside of it. It's way cool.
to me that looks like a giant footprint. Look at that. That's huge. That's the size of my hand. That thing's huge. Bigfoot exists. Alright, so it looks like there is still remnants of the past to be seen. There's a couple of buildings way off in the distance right there. Let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit and show you where I'm headed. Right there. Right now I'm walking around what would have been the old tarmac, I guess, for the planes. Towers are over there. Pardon the wind, guys. But yeah, so this is what it, there's nobody here. It's a beautiful day. Some lady way off in the distance, but nobody here. I'm just basically walking around. Right now, it's kind of strange. Walking around where these fighter jets would have taxied down the runway. Probably right down there. Looks like there's an old foundation over here. Obviously there used to be a building here. Probably some military storage buildings over there. I'm gonna go check that out. Just walking walking through this field. <laughs> An airfield. Really cool to see. While it's still here, I mean, they're rapidly developing this area, so I guess it's good they're making use. Hello. Hey. <laughs> buildings out so, so there's one building right there Let's see if I can get in and this one is marked building 74 so there's still a building here maybe it's an old power station or whoops <laughs> we'll find out all right so looks like this is entry like not even a floor here, so. Whoa! <laughs> oh my God. All right. What the hell? All right, so it's probably an old uh, power station, I'm guessing. Let's see what this says over here. There's like a channel that runs all the way down in the middle. What does this say? Circuits. There's the panel for that. All right, so there's a channel, like I said, that runs down the center of this. So maybe it's the pump station. Anybody know? up here oh wow all the ceramic insulators that i like are still here <laughs> see if i can show you this i know sorry i get excited over this stuff because i collect them but the insulators right there yeah i love those really cool so this is electrical this is the electrical room right here interesting if I see one loose on the floor, I'm taking it. <laughs> that one's chipped. That one's intact right there. It's a pretty big one. So 
anybody knows what that is, let me know. Check out this other building that's next to the electrical building. What the? Let's see, is the door open? All right, what's in here? Anything good? All right, so more control panels. Oh, the door's gonna close behind. All right, more controls, switches. What's in this room right here? building right there. So it looks like there's some sort of structure over there. And the road is kind of missing, so it's a little pathway to get over there. I'm not sure. It might be just a lean-to or a collapsed building, but like I said, this is on the runway area of the naval base. And I'm just checking the surrounding areas and seeing what's left. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's do that. Let's see what's over here. It's kind of like a makeshift skate park right now, but there was a foundation out here and a building. And I'm not sure if that's the roof or some sort of, I don't know. I think it's a collapsed roof. Let's find out. I'm not sure what this area was. It's a little ramp right there. I'm gonna go check out what that little iron structure is and see what this is out here. I don't know. All right, an old electrical box right there. And this doesn't have a cover on it. I'm not sure if it goes deep or anything. If it's a well, maybe it's a well. Let's see. Oh, it's all filled with water, obviously. Looks like there's a little door down there. Interesting. Just kind of checking things out, walking around, guys. <laughs> Another one of these ceramic, ceramic insulators. All right, let's see what this little structure is. I'm not sure if it's something that has been tipped over or if it's a shield nearby train. <laughs> what is this? Look at that. I don't know. What do you think? I'm not quite sure what that is. Walking down the center of an unused street. All right, I don't know how much we'll be able to see, but there's an old hangar right here. So I'm just 
just gonna take a walk over and poke around. an old section that's abandoned down here. There's a road closed down in this base. All this land is for sale. There's like 50 something acres for sale down here. So I'm just kind of poking around still, see if there's anything to be seen. Like I said, this place is huge. There's been a lot of redevelopment. They've made condos. There's some, there's some shops down here. Um, Imagine at one point there probably would have been buildings out here. There's power lines. Let's see what's here. Now this is interesting. Still back in this whole abandoned area. The streets all closed. This whole wooded area is all closed off. And all that remains over here is a chimney. <laughs> Let's see. Check this out, an old chimney area. This looks old, look at this. How this is on a base, I don't know. I am on a naval, former naval air station. And this is just out in the woods. Look at that, it's kind of crazy. Maybe this was like some sort of camp area at one time. I don't even know. I mean, look at these stones, how they're arranged. There's like, there's a stone there, a stone there, right there. It's almost like they're kind of placed in a circular pattern around the fireplace. Interesting. And there's an old iron fence. Let's see what else is through there. And 15 or so, they, they tore all the buildings down. The, the new generation. Oh, I don't know how new generation I am, but yeah. I think it's, a, it's I think it's interesting that uh, you, know, you give me some facts. For, um, for observation, the submarines on the coast. Yeah. They could go so slowly, and they would go up and down the coast, and then they would give the information back if they sighted anything to the base. No kidding. But at the time, there's a road over here called Pigeon Road. Okay. So they didn't want to use radio contact because it could be intercepted. Right. So they had homing pigeons. No on kidding. The blimp and they would send it back and the blimp, the pigeons would come back to the roost over here. Oh, that's with the, crazy. With the messages. Wow. Yeah, that's, it's been eerie walking around. Yeah, I appreciate that information. Guys, I was just uh, kind of walking around and he provided what the uh, blimps were used for because nobody has any idea. <laughs> he just asked me and I had no idea. So that that's was, awesome. Uh, yeah, that was it initially. They were, um, they were just, uh, because of the, the fact that they, you know, a plane would be flying so fast yeah. that they'd never pick up a, and they didn't have all the radar and all of the observation stuff. So, I mean, you had to actually see them with your eyes. So that's what the blimp was so used for, for surveillance. Very slowly. And, and there was a, have you been out to the... The towers, the towers out there? The, what, the, uh, the um, air traffic control yes. towers? Yeah. Yes, yes. Well, you, it, when you go out here, when you go out the road and you know where the traffic lights are there? Yes. Okay, well, before you get there, right on this side of the road, they actually went to both sides of the road. They had a blimp hangar. 
I don't know if you ever saw a picture of this. I was just over there and I just literally took footage of a hanger. <laughs> so I wonder if that was it. What, the, 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 that big hanger that was that's oh, down no, the street? No, this is a big, like a concert style. Oh, oh, wow. It's, it's, it was massive. Yeah. I wish I had my book with me. I've got a book that's this thick. It's all pictures of of the base. That's amazing. That when it was in its prime. I used to bring my son over here. They used to have air shows here every... I remember the air shows. Yeah, I actually yeah. remember the air shows. But and, this uh, blimp, and if you go over there, you can get an idea of how big it was. Um, when it actually was on both sides of the road that comes out where the lights are. Yeah. And if you go off to the left-hand side, there's a big parking lot. And you look and you can see the tracks are still in the in the ground you can see the tracks and this is the door open like a big clamshell like this wow. on both ends. so then you can go on the other side where there's still a building there it's a small flat building not the the hangar but there's another building there there's a um i think there's a fire engine parked in front of it now with a plow on it okay but if you over right over in that area there's a little metal building yeah you can find the other end of it and it gives you some idea of how massive it was. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's huge. It was, it had to be, you know, 300 yards. I can't remember the exact dimensions, yeah. but it was so high. They could put multiple blimps inside of it. And they have pictures. There were airplanes and vehicles and everything all inside of it. That's it amazing. Even yeah, there's like still remnants of the past, you know what I mean? I've been walking around for hours, I went and... Oh yeah, but if you see just, those tracks, you get an yeah. idea of how big. And one set of them actually would go underneath the, the new road. Um, the other set are mostly on, on this side of the road. But there were two of them in, initially, and one of them was largely wood. And that was down where, the main, where you walked out to where the... Um, where the uh, air traffic control towers are. Air traffic control towers, okay. There's a big okay. cleared area there. It's all grass. Yeah. And you can see, well, that was an, another massive blimp. Oh, okay, because I probably did down. see they, something because I was all walking in that all over. book of them tearing it down. Really? Wow. Massive. I mean, it had huge concrete ends to it. The, the one that was over here, the later one, was all steel. Yeah. A friend of mine was actually had got the contract to uh, tear it down. Nice. Do you know why they had two air traffic control towers like close to each other? Old. Okay, so the one was old one, and the they just left one, it. The first one you the see. The smaller one, yeah. Yes. That was the old one. Okay. And we'll go with a typical government thing. They knew <laughs> they were going to close this base. Yeah. And they had a contract to build that new tower. Yeah. Well, they kept building it. It was all done. And then they closed the base. Never got used. Yeah, but people got paid though, didn't they? People got paid. Though. <laughs> Somebody got paid. And that's a lot of money to that's build what it. runs the and, world. And the kids have, I don't know if you went in and went. Oh up. yeah, I went in, went up. Yeah, I took all kinds of drone footage. It's crazy. It's like graffiti city over there now. Oh, you got drone? Yeah. Oh wow, you're really. It's oh yeah, we're fancy. High tech. <laughs> there are some some people go out to the end. I've seen people with the big, you know, whole I don't know, it's like a commercial. Oh, the big thing. ones. Like yeah. Half a dozen people out there flying drones, Wicked taking cool. pictures of all this area. Yeah. Right. It's just cool, though. I mean, there's like a playground, like left oh, abandoned the right there. Yeah. The old street Jesus signs. Right What's your name? Phil. Phil. Hi, nice meeting you. My name is Marlo. I appreciate you giving Marlo. me all that information. So you like, must live around here me. then. <laughs> I could go on forever about this place. It there's so much to see, though. all empty there's a bunch of these around as uh, that guy was saying this is the military housing over here so you're gonna see a lot of little play sets left behind they're just everywhere there's another one over there left in the woods right over there look at that but this whole section is uh, closed off look at that
thank you for coming along with me. This has been an awesome little explore. I got to see so much more than I have before because I really didn't walk around and take the time to really on foot check the place out. So I'm kind of glad I did. And it was really cool to get that information from that gentleman. Seriously, if I didn't, I stopped filming. He was going on and on. He gave me so much information, told me what to look for in the ground. And I mean, he was just, uh, he was a wealth of information. So that was pretty cool. But I just want to say thank you for coming along and I will see you on the next one.